Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. So, originally I was going to start the stream off with RVR, but uh, there's a little problem with that chat. One of the uh, RVRs is Tower. Tower is not something you casually show off. So we will need a four-man group for that, unfortunately. So if there are four people on that are willing to hop in, we could build up to Tower. But uh, yeah, that, that is not a quest you casually show off on stream. <clears throat> so from that standpoint, We'll wait for a few more people to kind of trickle in. But hopefully everybody's doing well in the meantime. Today we'll be on the shorter side of streams. Been growing your baby, Hugh New Hugh Nice. Levels the character, Murphy. You feed her lots of lames and limiters. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> That's what she tends to get used for, sadly. Ooh, like level six. We might do another character rush later. From one to 80 with cookies. I, I don't want to do it today. I don't have the time. But potentially later in the week. Let's see. Is anybody willing to hop in right now for a warm-up run? Otherwise, I'm going to do solo. She's already got everything she needs. We'll do like a warm up TTF. If we get a third player, we'll rotate through with, uh, what's it called? RBR. I'm not willing to do tower with any less than three people. I'm going to put it that way. I prefer four. Oh, I think I see you in the lobby. I saw May in the lobby. So I could wait a little bit for you, Murphy. It is drop rate up. <clears throat> so it's hoping to lean more towards RBR. The only problem with that is, like, if you stream early hours, like what we're doing now, where you don't have a dedicated group, it is kind of annoying getting people together for RBR. Something like TTF, we could just hard carry... Like, I can hard carry with just me and one other person. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, like, I've done so many two-man TTFs, and, like, it's insane. But I think from the standpoint of, like, quest viability, sadly, like, some of the other quests just aren't worth running. Which is, if you're wondering why we do so much TTF and RT, it's mostly just due to the fact that a lot of quests are... Like, it, not gonna say 100% dependent, but there's, like, a high usage of telepipes. <clears throat> and high level play and it, we're learning a quest that doesn't matter as much but once you actually know the quests and you know exactly where to telepipe and then you have people that don't know how to do that and you're not on a stream and you're not able to verbally communicate with them uh it can be kind of annoying you lose a lot of time like what would normally be like a i don't know like 15 16 minute quests like when we had the omnispawn quests uh, can end up being like a half hour to 40 minutes for people that don't know what they're doing. And that means you're literally playing at half of the play rate. So sadly, that's why we have to stick to some quests that are just things people normally grind. Yeah, it's like there's, there's a lot of information to convey. And like you could teach people to an extent as you play, but some people just do whatever they want and don't really follow. Like there's nothing you really do about that. I think a great example, and I feel bad for this, but I was watching Tiki play with random people the other day in TTF. And like, for me personally, I don't think it's acceptable for us to have 18 minute TTFs. And that's why I don't do public TTFs. <laughs> I'm just like, that would drive me wild, chat. Like, I would go, I would go like bonkers. Like, even with killing all enemies in a two man, it's not going to be more than 16 minutes. I guarantee you, it is absolutely not going to be that much. 
So like we'll adjust to it. Like so I'm I'm recognizing I'm with the force. I gotta be more damaging, but I have Zalor backing me up. So I I'm the ATP carry, so I should be mostly fine. So like I'm just gonna go in with like different expectations. Like whether we go in with somebody, you know, somebody Ramarls to my raw cast, somebody uh Hugh Neurals to my Q cast kind of things. Like I will adjust expectations as we go through. But honestly, like once you've played it a while, like it it almost doesn't matter what your party comp is. If you're looking to go like 10 minutes, like 10 30 minute runs or like barely 11 minute runs, those require some basically optimal classes. It's very hard to get 11 minutes without having like a Hugh cast and or a raw cast on the team, for example. It, it's possible. It doesn't happen very often. It requires very good falls luck. Whereas like if you have a character that is just pure ATP, with potentially strong uh, sphered weapons, you kind of skip a lot of that RNG for whether you can hit that timer or not. And that's why realistically when I play, I don't look for the 11 minute. I don't need it to be like hyper optimized when I play. We just play as we play. But at the same time, like we should not be having like 17, 18 minute runs. It just, when people don't know what they're doing, that's what happens. And it's fine. We'll take in a couple people that haven't played before and we'll talk about it on stream kind of things and we'll educate them as we go through, and then they can cut their times down. But for people that have been playing it for years, it's, it's painful. <laughs> I, I can't do that in public games. If I'm if I'm playing something where it's like really brand new, like the Omnispawn quest, like maybe if there's at least two people that know what they're doing, I'll join. But even then, that's not really like a public game in that sense. Hopefully you're doing well, Murphy. Yeah, this is just the easier quest to run. I know some people don't like watching me do TTF and RT, but it's like there's there's a reason these quests are picked. They they could be done with low numbers of people, and you can hard carry the quest purely through stats versus needing team coordination. Because there are a lot of quests that just don't work unless people know to split, they know to telepipe. And that's kind of the problem. Like, I think one of the quests on there, I think it's the Silent After Image, I think is one of those quests that you normally split up. Like, granted, I haven't played it in a while, and it might not happen when we, you know, do it on stream. But, like, those kinds of things are, like, that's where you learn it after playing it just, like, once. You're like, oh, okay. I now understand kind of things. And some quests are, like, four splits, which are fine. Oh, that didn't kill. Unfortunate. No crit, sadly. You only have a shift of 27? Uh-oh, Ravana Murphy. <laughs> what happened? Do you need a shift of 30? Welcome, Raw. Bonk. Ooh, only as the Lord 29. Oh, we're upgrading Murphy after this. Here's Stardust Speedway. <clears throat> it could be. I don't know what the song is called. Stardust Speedway, Good Future. Get out of here, random still dragons. We're gonna take a safety heal so we don't die. Hopefully you're doing well, Rob. <clears throat> I'll be streaming up until a little before 11.30, and then I'm gonna head out. And you're doing well, Rom. Yeah, I was informed there was a difference between the Japanese and English versions of the S Sonic CD OST. So we're listening to the Japanese version. 
Oh! That almost hit me. That was scary. Alright, we're going for the rush. You ready for this little tactic? Fuse trap here. Kill you. Confuse trap again, and with the Zalor, they might kill themselves with that extra confuse trap. As long as it hit all of them, it might kill. Yeah, there we go. We got an extra kill off of that. All right, I'm going to slime dupe. And then I'm going to go back and kill the other thing. I definitely want to slime dupe first. This is this is what I would rather kill over the Volmers in that room. Technically, Murphy could kill the Volmers in that room if he wants. I just know I'm going to end up killing the uh, the one that spawns. Because usually by the time I walk back here, it spawns. Case in point. Game, please. There we go. So, like, from a timing perspective, when I solo TTF, that's exactly what happens. Although I just realized we don't have a good character to deal with, uh, Vault Op. I mean, I have Twin Blaze, but this is going to be interesting. Murphy, do you have something to deal with Vault Op? Of course, I didn't get invincibility. Game, please. <laughs> <laughs> just like this is like one of the few runs where like I actually need it on this boss like not optional nice to have I need it because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to Jaya I'm gonna dodge of course it clip me uh, it doesn't need that much more damage also, I'm realizing Murphy will not be the right level for Excalibur. Yeah, the run's definitely going to be slow. Oh, I might as well spin blaze. I got nothing better to do. Welcome to Parameter. So if I had invincibility, we could have killed that on time. But unfortunately, I got hard knocked down. I don't need that many more hits on this boss to kill it, fortunately. Welcome, Toriel. I mean, I could go for classic clears. This is definitely going to add quite a bit to the timer. Not sure I'll be happy about that, but we'll see. Yeah, we, we gotta go get Murphy some level 30 tech. <laughs> no. Wait, hold on. Why is it now level 30? Wait, what? Murphy, did you, like, eat a tech mid-run? It definitely was not level 30's allure earlier. Madness. Oh, using a god technique. Okay, I was gonna say. I was like, oh, like, what happened? Your tech level went up. <laughs> what madness. What sorcery is this? I'm gonna let Murphy go through. So I can kill this enemy solo. Oh, actually, I wish Murphy. Oh. Murphy, Murphy can't kill Sinnoh Red. I could kill Sinnoh Red. So th this is where we're talking about. Would have been unfortunate. See, he's not able to one-shot it. I'm able to kill this thing. I do not want to kill the Sinnohs. So we're playing Red ID. I want to I wanna leave this room. I'll kill this thing so Murphy can get out. But that's about it. All right, we're going to do the mad dash. I do not want to fight anything here if we could avoid it. So I got to kill this guy. If you'll hopefully get the switch. There we go. Put a freeze trap out. Maybe it'll catch them. Maybe. Yeah, this is going to be real slow. So we're going to have to rely on Murphy assisting with the stun lock here. Because hunters cannot stun lock this in multiplayer. 
Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> the shift is no longer 27. We're good. Yeah, we'll potentially get some game ins with uh, Toriel and Imperimeter if both of you are up to playing. Yeah, this is this definitely going to be one of the longer TTF runs for sure. Why am I getting delayed presses? What's going on? There we go. It's fun. I'll take a little bit of damage there. Wait, did it? It only went two monitors? That sucks. There we go. You know what? That could have been much worse. Honestly, I think that was fine. I was thinking we were gonna go like four rotations or worse, but honestly, Twin Blaze Gazan was a good enough stun lock. I guess I'm sleeping on the power Twin Blaze again. Please don't cage me, I'm the only DPS here. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, this is gonna add a lot of time to the run. Stop this. I'm the, I'm the only one doing significant damage. Thank you. I'll do this. Wow, chat, I'm getting hard targeted. Can we all agree? That was ridiculous. Get out of here. <laughs> so yeah, this will probably be closer to a 16 minute run if I had to guess. Is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. I guess if we get a good false pattern, it'll be like 1430 or so. Yeah, sadly with two player, it's really hard for me to set up the gear assault kit or not gear assault. Set up the gear assault into Dark Flow is what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I realized I realized what your gear level was midway through when I was talking about TTF, and I was like, oh no, that is gonna be. I mean, I could hard carry, but that's gonna be that's gonna be rough. I don't know how Murphy is gonna survive anything in falls with his current HP. I'm gonna say it was a brave choice to bring in a sub 800 character into multiplayer falls. I'm pretty sure you just die every time to swipes. But maybe maybe the claw does exactly 740. I hope you have one heavenly HP. Oh. I can't believe we lined up there. That really sucks. I uh, escaped dolls at least. I'm committing to this Psycho 1 check. I don't care what happens. This is fine. I know I'm Mag Blast if I need it. Oh, come on. Oh, that is just actually unlucky. <laughs> I'm out of there, though. They were in a perfect cross formation. That very rarely happens. Um, I think I'm going to have to play Risky here. I'm assuming Murphy has at least one more escape doll. I think I have one, right? Oh, I actually don't. Alright, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Brave mode activate. <laughs> Going to a falls with 27 health. This will be interesting. I'm in pure concentration mode chat, sorry. Oh, I got tagged by the random movement. So close. 
so close. It was a little risky because of how close they were all getting. It's unfortunate that that happened. Let me drain my health again. The downside is Gear Soul will pull me towards targets, which I actually don't want to do when I'm draining health. That's fine. One more health drain. Actually, you know what? This is fine. I can make up for this later. Okay. We're back to where we need to be. Uh... The downside is I like to use the minimap to judge distance, but I can't do that with any of the pause tricks, which you need to do to stop targeting. So there's a couple moments where I'm like basically blind on the target, unfortunately. So that's where there's some inconsistency with, inconsistency with dodging the random spinner movements, because I'll lose track of what's behind me, because it's literally not visible because I'm pausing. I right, Murphy, keep them off me. Do some big damage here. No! He didn't keep them off me. No! Murphy, please. He got me killed. <laughs> no, I was doing so well. I almost killed the boss. Random spinner, GG. Are your is your fireball not able to kill them or something? That is that is kind of painful if you can't kill them with fireball. One swing from kills. Rip me. Yeah, this is going to be a long, long run. This should be fine, at least. Not getting a good pattern, either. This is really unfortunate. There we go. Good pattern. Okay. Yeah, we'll wrap it up at 16. That's not great. If I got 16 in a 4-man, I would be fuming. But it is what it is when you have a weaker Fomar. You have to adjust expectations. I was expecting like a 14-15 minute, depending on falls. But then I realized uh, no, no weapon for a worm will make it take longer. Murphy's at least doing 200 per fireball. That's not too bad. Hmm. Do I dodge with Mag Blast? I think I do. <laughs> I'm gonna dodge with Mag Blast. Really? That is... That is an unlucky 50-50 that just happened. Unfortunate. Oh, you double short cycle. Oh. It's fine. I just want to delay so I can stand up during grants. Oh, or it's not vulnerable that whole time. Rip me, I guess. Or feel revive me. I'm just planning to do DPS here. Unfortunate. I died for the sin of clearing. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. There we go. So it's like mediocre luck. Yeah, I think where we lost time big time, and that's where the gear differences come in. I don't think it was a misplay, per se. It was more uh, Worm Boss. We lost a lot of time on Worm Boss by needing to go like another 20, 30 seconds. And then I got hard targeted by Vault Up, which wasted like at least 50 seconds. I did die on the spinner phase, but that's usually not a game changer. It, it wastes like 10 seconds versus like Vault Up phase 2, I'm literally going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I gotta dodge 1, 2. So bad. Story things can happen, do you believe in yourself? Apparently. Just 
so I got a 60 hit scepter. Do I even bother picking this up? Does anybody need a 60 hit scepter? Rip the scepter. Is he more level than a magical piece? Yeah, we gotta get you legit buffs. <laughs> We gotta get you to level 30 stuff. Um... What do I want to put away? It's these. I think my equipment set is fine for what it is. I do use every single weapon up here in the run, so I don't feel like I'm holding a dead weapon per se. The twin base is used the least, but it's important that I have it for full up. You need me to guard my level 30s for you, Murphy? I'm pretty sure I have them on another character. So that way you don't need the god technique for it. Go ahead and end the quest. Yeah, hopefully I don't get hard targeted like that. That wastes a ton of time. False phases were okay. They were not great luck. So that it's kind of like if you have really fast falls, the fight will be over in a minute. Average is like probably like two minutes. Slow falls is like four minute nightmare. I don't want to be in those scenarios. We were like average. The boss at least stopped. We weren't just dodging spells for like a minute straight. Goodbye, Frost Scepter. Okay. Toriel's gonna drop Ravage Rank, sure thing. Let's play with Toriel. And I think in a little bit we could try the RBR, but as I said before, RBR is tower, unfortunately. The most unfortunate of choices when trying to show things for people. Oh, we're done with the Sonic CD, apparently. That didn't take very long. Hope you're doing well, Chris. Let us know if you want to hop in for some runs later. Although, if we're going to play, I'm not going to subject you to tower first thing. <laughs> so let's see, I think Toriel wanted in. We have in parameter. Wasn't sure if Murphy wanted to continue. Otherwise, Chris is welcome to join. Oh, there we go. Murphy was sorting stuff, apparently. Yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll do one more warm-up of these, maybe two. Then we'll maybe pull in Chris for some of the RVR. Maybe. I'm not sure how long Chris was gonna stick around, because I know it's getting late for him. The stream itself won't be very long, I'll also state that. We've got almost like an hour and a half left. I'm not sure where Toriel is. Hopefully he comes back soon. As I would like to get started. Need to get an Angry Fist. So people were talking about the God Hand and Angry Fist on stream yesterday. Dango got a, a nice machine God Hand. <laughs> Lots of twirls. I don't even know which one that is, but I'm gonna clap. And then apparently fall asleep. <laughs> I have a little spin here. What's zero? 
Oh, that was in sync. That was nice. Perfect timing. There we go. There's Toriel. It's a photon blast animation. That's something. Oops, almost did Toriel's ego. That would have been something. But yeah, I'm thinking what'll happen is I'll ask somebody to step out so Chris could do a couple RBRs, but we'll do a couple of these runs first. And then uh, we'll probably do RBR because I think Chris is looking for eggs. So we can do episodes four maybe a couple of times. I'm not sure I'm in the mood to do an RBR tower. It's like, I looked at it, it's like, do I really want to fight like 30 Ilgils? With people that are maybe fresh with the accounts, I don't think so. That's kind of a... I don't know about that. <laughs> I'd rather play the ones that are more realistic to clear. Like, if we have a hard demon mech gun carry character, like a Parameter has one, Hellcleaf has one. Like, I'm more willing to, like, jump into it. But that, that one one does not simply tower, chat. It just it doesn't happen. It's a horrendous experience, the casual tower. That is like the quest you do not want a casual pub game with. Unless you are 100 percent certain everybody is god tier equipment. Yeah, it's got like it's got like 30 plus um lilies and Ilgil. So white ID would be the preference for that. It only has like it, it only has nine Delveters, Chad. It's fine. <laughs> and I think overall it has a little over 20 Murder Flowers. Or it might be a little under, actually. Slightly under 20 between the three different types. So roughly six, six of each, roughly, for what I recall. So yeah, maybe 15. Maybe it's more like 15, actually. Let me tune the number down. There are definitely not as many of those as compared to the flowers. <laughs> it's very much an, a flower Ilgil kind of run with the, uh, what are they? What are the murder, Del Lilies? Del Lilies, I think they're called. So it's it's very much a Del Lily Ilgil run with a very small amount of gibbles, like 11 or 12. How many Gaigui? Not many from what I remember. It's not like 20 plus from what I remember. The downside is that the wiki doesn't have the quest link, so I would have to look in our, uh... If, uh oops. Uh, oh no. Slime got pulled early. Let me, let me slime dude. So I think from that standpoint, uh, we would have to check to the Discord. If you check the Discord, it has the exact number. But yeah, the wiki is still not updated. I'm contemplating joining the wiki team just to just to be the person that fixes the link. <laughs> it bothers me so much because it's still it's still redirect it redirected me uh, just before the stream to Scarlet uh, Realm or whatever it was called or Penumbral Surge. I mean, I'm like that's definitely not right. So I will do a flick here so people can see it. One, two, three. Lost Charge Vulcan is the quest. Yeah, new mop up Operation 4 looks decent. Uh, it looks like a very Goron and Pyrogoron heavy run. So it's something that potentially you would go through. Uh, somebody's pulling the slimes from me. Don't pull the slimes. There we go. But from that standpoint, it's kind of like... I don't know. I mean, it has one Gerdabulu, so you're not going to do a Gerdabulu rare. That, that much I remember, without guessing. But it's one of those runs where I guess if you're looking for Yashminikov on purple, Slicer Fanatic on white, or if you're really desperate for uh, green, red, uh, Heaven Striker, those are probably fine for that particular run. That has a little more ID variety. Look how fast this enemy dies. Oh. Yeah, that reminds me, Toriel. You want to be standing more towards where we were standing. You do not want to hit the head. The head is the tankiest part. And by the time you pop the shell off, the boss will already be dead in multiplayer. So you want to hit as many of the side pieces as possible.
that's a good strategy for like lower difficulties you actually do that as a um, force if you're playing on normal because sometimes you don't even have like a, a good uh gafoe gazan kind of thing to deal with that boss so people will end up foeing the head that's what foe new world does at low levels for those that are curious and that's why simple techs are like really really good in normal and then they just fall off really hard <laughs> It, as soon as you start getting like mid-level guy and raw techniques, like there's there's no point. Thank you for sticking around, Raw. Hopefully you have a good day. We'll catch up later. So we're gonna do a little rush. I'm gonna tell Toriel this. So somebody will go to the far end of the room. They're gonna spawn a red Sinnoh in the middle of the room that we're walking into currently. So they'll go through the invisible wall. I'm gonna wait, we're gonna kill the Red Sinnoh, we're immediately gonna leave this room. As soon as this thing is done, get ready to run. Because we do not want to fight anything in here. So we kill this thing, we run. Run, run, run. <laughs> okay, out of here. <laughs> and now here's the other thing. Keep running past me, go straight to the far end door, just run. Don't bother fighting anything here, it's not worth it. I'm gonna freeze trap. If I get caught, it's fine, it's on me. I'll get through. I put another freeze trap, I'm out of here. We do not want to deal with those. <laughs> <laughs> just we're out of here so people will go for the switch directly if we have a ranger or they'll go for the mini robot because that'll make the switch fall and that's what opens here there's a lot of weird quirks with this quest for new players so we'll, i'll try to point them out to kind of denote it so if you're wondering why we did some weird things in caves like walk through a far wall in the first room for example it's specifically to spawn an enemy that will open the door early we don't bother clearing most of these so here we just need one person assisting so essentially i'm going to be doing a handoff i think to and parameter here because they're a ranger what your job is is equip your best damage weapon kill any turrets that pop up from the ground and don't worry about anything else we have everything i'm going to slow down the monitors a little bit with my fireball and the fomar will gaze on because there's really no downside to it so if you see anything pop up murder it Okay, right, something popped up. Time to murder it. Go for the red one if you can. Ouch. All right, I'm gonna slow it down with less one. Riptorial. Oh, do you not have a spread needle? Oh. Oh, I would have been way more aggressively doing that. I still see Heaven Striker out. Yeah, that's a problem. You need Spread Needle for this fight. I, I looked at the gun. I'm like, that was not Spread Needle. Unfortunate. So that will lose a lot of time. There we go. All right, so if you have a multi-hit weapon, like a, you know, twin bladed thing, use it. If you got a Diska, Charge Disca and Disca Brain Man are really powerful on this boss. And we just go to town on it. You don't want to do like just single saber unless it's Excalibur. So I'm going to use Disca here for big damage. If you're wondering why we do this, it's because it multi hits. We don't usually use Sword here just because it can sometimes hit two targets, but it's not going to be as powerful as a Disca. You'll see that a lot of Hunter late game involves using Disca uh, or some multi piercing weapons just because. It applies your massive ATP to everything. So here, we're going to go for a little strat here. So I do a little pause trick so I don't target any enemies. You could pause the game in many ways to not target. But essentially, I do that. I walk in the corner. I turn around. I get the kill. Yeah, it's kind of like the higher level you are, the better the multi-hits are. So you'll see shotguns used um, or Baran's launcher, which is four hits. Okay, so we're going to do a little strat. I want you to go to the left here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get past this. Kill anything that is kind of in your way. We're gonna take care of the sorcerer. As long as we don't get hit by whatever you're fighting, we're fine. So do a big circle if you need to, but eventually come back to this room. So somebody always splits from the group to go up top on the big platform. And that's in order to start the other thing. So here's another technique we're talking about when you have a lot of players. Uh, somebody will pipe in and out of the room which we'll, we'll send a pipe down eventually when it's safe. We kill the sorcerer on red ID specifically because they drop Psycho 1. I'm going to go pick up that event egg because I have to. <laughs> Normally I would not go out of my way for this. 
And then somebody will land down a telepipe so that way Murphy could come in safely. Yeah. So whoever's on the platform, more likely than not, will take the telepipe to get back here. Similarly, uh, people will telepipe in front of the worm boss. So for the people staying behind for that one spawn in caves, uh, they'll go through. Actually, I should have been through souling. I made a mistake there. Is that a monolith? It is a monolith. Well, I gotta drain my health and not die. This will be interesting. Don't know if that's good enough. Ripping parameter. My trick to you is look at the minimap as much as possible and pause trick. I'm kind of in an awkward spot against these. I don't like that. They're fanning out in a way that is not great for me. Okay, now they're doing it well. I'm going to kill a couple here. Make sure the one behind me doesn't touch me. Because again, it's hard for me to judge the distance, especially with Fireball going off. I don't like that none of my targetables are here. We need somebody on the right side because I'm already on the left. I think I got a gear soul one more time. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I do not want to go that far from the boss, because that's a big DPS loss. So what'll happen here, pick ahead, usually take a vice on this phase, and destroy those. People will bring out handguns on the spinner phase specifically, just because it's easier to kill. Um, after this, just equip your best ranged option, because you are never going to be able to melee this boss in any reasonable fashion. Whenever you see the boss targeting, just go hard left or hard right, and that will more often than not dodge whatever the target is. I think I clipped it for some damage. If you see it go down like that, it's gonna cast a spell. Just make sure you're full health. And then if you're holding forward and or doing pause trick, you always dodge the spinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna walk away from the boss to give myself more room to dodge spells. We're getting a not great pattern. I'm going to go hard left here. I think I have to. Okay, now I'm going to go forward to dodge the spell. Okay, so we're going to get a big opportunity. The big slam is where we can actually damage the boss. All right, make sure you're at as high health as possible. The boss will randomly target with claw. Equip guns. Sadly, if you thought you could melee as a, a hunter, uh, this boss is here to show you gun, gun is superior, melee inferior. So if you do not have a gun, you are in big trouble because you are not going to be able to hit this boss like 90% of the time. We're going to do as much damage as we can with handguns. I'm using Last Swan, which is a rapid fire. Some people use something called Master Raven on male characters. It's a similar concept as a triple shot. If you have a weapon that does elemental damage, technically you could try to hit with the special when that shield is up. Oh, and that was a queen final phase. That was clean. Wow, it didn't even go up in the sky. We don't even have to talk about that. GG. Hi, chat. Smooth. That was a fast falls. Despite the bad pattern in the middle, everything else was fun. Yeah, that, that can't be more than 13. Oh, thir oh 13 of 4 because it pa Okay, trick with that. We cleared it at like 12.40, but the timer ticks down during congratulations for some reason. That always bothers me. So we took 13 minutes in air quotes, but realistically we did it in about a, a 12.40 something. So I'm very happy with that. That's pretty good. It's just one of those things you roll your eyes. <laughs> just, I don't know why they don't pause the timer before the cutscene. You would think that they, we just pause timer, then launch. Congratulations, but apparently not. Okay. So we'll do one more and then we'll switch over to maybe some RBR and levels. Yeah, damn, this character needs so much XP to go. But at least I'm gonna say she did her three RV or three TTFs. My goal is three TTFs red ID every time we stream. So that way this character gets closer to 180. Because I do want to force myself to try to level this character. So we'll do one more of these. 
And then we'll switch over to some RBR for Chris, I think. So yeah, I think it's... I guess I'll leave it open to the group. Is the group looking for more, like, Heaven Strikers for Rangers? Slicer Fanatics, which is good for other characters? Or uh, Yashminikovs? Because those are the main hunts, I think, of the upcoming RBR. I'm happy... I technically want all of them, so for me, I'm not opposed to anything in particular. It just changes who I play. I mean, technically, if Team Hard carries me, I could just bring in Red ID if they just wanted Heaven Strikers. Level this character more. Otherwise, I'd be playing my uh, White Force, which also needs levels if I'm going to do Tower. Uh, for Slicer Fanatic or Purple Ranger. It is even beat. So in theory, I could Pew Pew Laser. I'll circle around in Parameter. Yeah, look at that Y pose. What a pose. We... There we go. Yeah, we'll go over towards the future one more time. This is a good quest to learn start to finish, especially for multiplayer. Just because, again, this is the most commonly run one with certain IDs, just because Red Ring is, like, the end-all, be-all shield. So people will run this over and over and over and over again. So if you don't have an ID that can Red Ring, it's unfortunate. It's going to be harder to level. You would have to join in games for people that have the proper ID. Uh, offhand, I want to say white, red, green, sky, Viridian, I think are the ones that have it running. I'm not sure if I missed one in there. Yellow definitely doesn't. Pink definitely doesn't. Blue definitely doesn't. I don't remember about orange. I don't think orange does. So we'll just kind of clear the first Hilda Bear so we open this door. Let me drain my health, actually. There we go. Go down to 4 HP. Proper way to do boss battles. Run it over and over again and never gets red ring away for some people. Oof, true. Welcome, Edward Enigma. Hope you're doing well. Bonk. Yeah, we'll get Chris on a couple RBRs and then Chris will eventually go to sleep. <laughs> That's how I view it. Chris needs his rest. He got up early for Phoenix. Kill the Sil Dragon. Oh, didn't get the timer. So if you hit it right as it transitions into the shout, it can. It can cause it to take damage on that phase, and it's possible to skip the, that entire phase. So it'll just instantly go into this cutscene after it shouts, with no pause in between. But that's more of a... I'm going to say that's more of a glitch. I'm pretty sure that is not intended. But it's something you could just aim for every time. So anyway, so for red ID specifically what I do, to set up this slime dupe glitch, I attack three times. For whatever reason, your traps take on the inherited property of the last attack that you did. So what that means is that normally if you whip a third hit, you could cause the uh, slimes to dupe. And because I'm technically not hitting it with a weapon, I believe that's why it dupes. Kind of a quirk in the system, I guess. Actually, I'm going to confuse trap them. Team can kill the Volmers if they want for more XP. There's really no downside to it. Because otherwise you're just waiting at the door. So we kill that Lily just so we can move to the next area. So as long as you're either in the room that you're in currently, Toriel, you could take a Telepipe out. As long as you're doing something, it's good. Oh, Photon Drop, really? Damn, I have to go back. I hate going back. 
Uh, somebody else is gonna have to cover me for door duty here. I have to go back for photon draw. That that's kind of one of those things you never leave, never leave a man behind. <laughs> We're not leaving the photon drop behind. Damn, I'm going back. Um, because I went back, I'm gonna show the route that you take with the telepipe. So whoever kills the Vomer typically puts down the telepipe, and then they'll take a telepipe that is near the worm boss. So that way I don't have to walk all the way back. Let's see, chat. Will I get trolled? Will I get invincibility? Oh my gosh, I got invincibility. Chat, one in four. One in four, chat. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I missed the one from last stream. Holy. That invincibility odds are terrible. It's a dark blow, this boss. Out of spite, mostly. It saves money, I guess. You can see we're all up close here. So, Imperimator and I go to the corner of the raft. If you go to the far edge of the raft, you'll actually dodge the lasers. But if you're wondering why everybody gathers in that corner, we need to hit as many segments as possible. So, when in doubt, just look at where most people stand. Is that a 50 hit charge ray gun? Hold on, hold on. I kind of want that. Wait a minute. Uh, goodbye, evade material. I think that's a charge ray gun, 50 hit, and it's got 40 dark after Teth. Chat, okay. I actually got an upgrade from Worm. Who would have thought, chat? The caves is where I got my gun upgrade, question mark. Just, okay. And that's why you do box checks. <laughs> So charge ray gun, especially with dark, is kind of huge. I'm not going to lie. This is a really good upgrade for my hue cast. It's not like a ton of ton more damage, but 40% dark on top of that is probably literally 40 ATP on the handgun, maybe a little more. I don't know if the handgun adds uh, 80 or 100 after the grinders. It's hard to just look at it with shifted because shifted makes the numbers a bit weird. A little freeze trap down. And we run. Uh oh. Uh, Imperimeter's find. Imperimeter. I'd recommend you to self fight Imperimeter. Oh, no nobody's going after dump check now. <laughs> run. Run, team, run. No. Oh, I, I did not die at 39 health against unfrozen Barans. Can we call that a mini miracle? How did I not die in that room? You got spread needle? Okay, good, good, good. That was amazing. <laughs> like, chat, chat, I did not dodge the missile. I just, I embraced death on that one. I did not get hit. All right, 780 health is probably fine. Should be good here. All right. So I'm going to slow it down. Once the Spread Needle comes in, Spread Needle is the easiest weapon to lock down with, aside from Gazan Loops. So you'll see a lot of people... It's kind of like the cheaper version of using V801 plus Excal, because that's a lot of PDs if you're willing to throw stuff out there. I'm still going to slow it down a little bit with uh, Twin Blaze, because it is just free damage. Slow it down a little there. Okay, I'm going to quick last one. I'm going to look for the turret. No, 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 no. Don't disca, don't disca the, t no, don't disca the screen. Don't do that. Mm -mm. So the boss has invulnerability frames. The reason I slow it down, my fireball does like 20 damage to the screens. It doesn't matter. You popping the screens actually makes it take longer. This boss does not work the way you think it does. Just think of it this way. Every time you hit the screens, it applies damage in set intervals. So if you do burst damage to the screens, you just lose a, an ability to hit the boss. So that's why we usually leave one person attacking it. It's a weird mechanic, but like we, we have to play around it or else the, it takes forever. Although what I do recommend is if you have a Disca of Brave Man, you can actually berserk on those screens to lower your health for Dark Flow. Heavenly HP dropped. Oh, this is so painful. And a photon drop. What's happening? Why am I getting the rares? I have no room. Rip my items. Goodbye, defense material. I can't hold you. I mean, Heavenly HP is a really good pickup. I do need more of those. Yeah, we actually got a charge ray gun drop. I think that's the first ever charge 50 ray gun I've received ever. 
and I'm including shops. I have never seen them in shops. I have never seen them in casual drops. 50 hit. So that is the first ever live on stream. And even off stream, honestly, I'm pretty sure I have never come across a 50 charge ray gun. I've, I've seen like 20s and like 30s, but never a 50. I guess I finally won the roulette. Okay, we'll do some box checks here. Nothing of interest there. When in doubt, you can freeze trap to get by them or confuse trap. So I recommend Toriel, if you find yourself getting stuck, some of those are your get out of jail free cards. Hugh cast freeze traps are super good. Let me do this. I'm gonna freeze you so I could just kill you. But I didn't move. Why did? Oh, because Murphy ran in a circle around it. Oh, that would explain it. I was like, oh, like, how, why did I get hit? I didn't do anything. Okay, some freeze traps are out. Nice kill. Let's leave. Game, please. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna gear sell my health away. Run, Toriel, run. There we go. Good job. You guys can heal if you want. I'm going to drain my HP anyway. It doesn't matter. As long as I don't get mag healed. Like I did that one time. I did get trolled. I'm not sure if Chris saw some of that. Uh, we had somebody with a heal mag on. So I kept getting rested. <laughs> beginning of boss battles. I got trolled so hard. <laughs> That's painful. Yeah, that was big oof as a Dark Flow player. I was like, I was like, wow, I'm so used to people not having that. If I see like striker unit, I think healing. So like I'm aware of that. Or if I see Rappy, I think healing. But somebody had like a generic mag that had healing. I was like, oh. Mookie found a Razan level 30. Congratulations to them. I cannot cover that side. I need to stay on the left side. Aim a little more properly there. That is a weird pattern. I honestly don't want to shoot the far one because that'll put me way too out of position for Dark Flow. So it was, it's one of those moments where it would have been like, technically I could have shot that to end the phase faster, but me being that far away means this phase would take so much longer. So I, I had to make a tough call there. Like I saw it, but I'm like, I can't reach it with less one. Like doing this phase faster is so much more important as you can see. Otherwise, if I walk forward two seconds, I would have to walk another two sec, another two seconds on top of that, which is not good on that phase. Oh, I got some damage. There's no way I'm dodging this. I don't believe. I got trolled. Uh, I'm gonna go to the side here to dodge. The only thing you want to make sure is just go where people aren't <laughs> and that's how you'll generally dodge. I'm going to go backwards from here to dodge. Yeah, going in the middle is not a good call there. I would just dodge to the sides, honestly. I did a last second revive to make sure that Imperator was revived. Because right, if, if we don't revive right before the split, that's a lot of DPS lost. So Imperator will gradually make his way over to Murphy. And it's better than multiple people running over. Let's weaken the boss a little. That was some big damage. The lore... Oh, rip Murphy. Somebody go revive Murphy. Am I gonna be targeted? Of course. Of course. I, I swear, chat, I'm getting hard trolled by this boss. Jeez. What was that? A three quarters chance for me to not be targeted? <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, target this fall. And it targeted me again. Did you see that? What is this one in four nonsense? Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, Chad, get off of me. <laughs> Go away, Falls. I don't want you. <laughs> Playing like the, the dodging mini game. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on the angle. I think I understand a little bit better how to dodge it, but it's both my starting position on the ring and then my rotations around the ring. That I gotta work on. So I'm gonna go back and analyze specifically like where I was standing when I did do it. I did do it once. I managed to full dodge it. But even if I flub it, I kind of like it because I still dodge getting hit by the grants. 
Stop being so targetable. You're right. I gotta do better. It's so sad. But anyway, I gotta put away these guns. Let's identify an actually decent find. Yeah, so, w oh, so it's probably closer to 80 currently. That's fine. Nice. I'm shaking my head every time I go through there. I think I've seen Charge Arm in there literally once. How's the stream been? It's been okay. Got this character some more XP. We got a Heavenly HP from the boss. That's always fun. We got a 50 hit charge ray gun with 40 dark, which I think is a pretty good pickup, especially since Hughcast will need this. So that was actually like a an actually good find after doing like many, many attempts of nothing on Red Ring. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a good find. I mean, obviously I'm happy if it's higher hit percentage, but honestly, I think I just have a generic 50 hit. So I'll take any amount of additional ATP on that kind of gun, for sure. And it's and it's the right percentage too. It's not like it's on native or something dumb. Like it, it being an actual weapon I use on falls is relevant for damage. So that's always nice. Okay. So I guess what we'll do, I guess we'll go a little greedy. I guess I'll go greedy with my XP today. So I'm going to ask in Parameter to step out maybe for a couple games. And then Chris, if you want to hop in while you're still awake, <laughs> we can enjoy a little bit of RBR. I'm thinking we'll go to episode four. So Murphy can still stay force or whatever. Toriel could come in. I can still do decent damage. Um, we'll try the RBR quest. So it was drop drop rate we use finding non-rare weapons more often um the point of drop week is to actually still find rare items it's just another way of getting rare items so the way i kind of view it is that rare item week is specifically bosses and technically rare enemies drop rate is all common enemies and if you're looking for materials uh slash pds it's a good time to do it so you'll, you'll slightly tailor the runs, but technically if you're going for like a Heaven Striker or you're going for Cannon Rouge, both of both of those weeks are good for doing that because you're not at max with both of them. So the way I view it is rare enemies and bosses have 100% drop rate, so those do not impact your chance of finding it. So rare item week or rare week benefits rare enemies drop rate does not but drop rate will mean that you get more items to sell so technically you might find more commons which is true uh but people will still run it generically for uh most enemies the other thing you have to kind of be careful about is that some enemies have a really high uh drop rate so they're not as impacted so for example uh anything over what is it 80 percent will not benefit fully from drop rate week, which are mostly, from what I remember, they're mostly mini bosses. It doesn't come up very often. I'll put it that way. But if it's a very common grunt, like your Gorons, your Pyrogorons, Rappies, like they'll come there. So sadly, when it goes, so sadly, if you were to stack like RBR with it, for example, 150% on those enemies will not benefit you as much. So we'll give Chris a couple minutes to log in. So yeah, I, I would say generally speaking, if you're looking for, uh, ooh, we're almost done with the soundtrack. Yeah, Dorfon is a great example. I was going to say, usually think of your mini bosses. Generally, your mini bosses have a high drop rate, but very low rare chance. So it's very common that if you stack RBR with it, you're not going to get as much, sadly.
Apparently, this is Nightmare Eggman. Uh, next is Sonic Prime Dash. Right now, we're in Sonic Dream Team. Yeah, we'll give Chris another minute or so. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> yeah, I figure, you know, people generally want Heaven Strikers. Oh, there we go. He's probably just swapping equipment around. Nice, nice. Ooh, bring it in the Humar. What am I gonna do when all the Sonic music is done? I'm not sure. But we're almost done. We have one game after that, and that's it. And that was with going back to Sonic CD. So we'll do this, I think, for like about an hour, and that'll be the end of the stream, sadly. I got somewhere I gotta go. But maybe we'll continue in the afternoon, so keep an eye out on the Discord and the Twitch alerts. I'm gonna be gone for at least two hours, if I had to guess. I might start up again around five-ish. Uh, it's new mop up operation four, right? <laughs> Just like, I don't like that the other thing is not there. Okay, it is. Okay, it is. I'm trying to think which one this is. We'll learn. Oh, Toriel checking out the Discord. Thank you. So exclamation mark YouTube, exclamation mark Discord if you want to follow in it there. But yeah, drop rate and rare week is pretty good for Gorons. They benefit very heavily from them. So we have an enhanced... Oh, wait. Wait, I recognize this room, but it didn't it say only one Kurtabulu? I'm confused. Double checking. It's a... Oh, okay. Whatever. I thought there were two in this quest. I recognize this quest. It's kind of slower paced. So unfortunately, there is like a bit of a backtrack. So there is a point where you telepipe. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I recognize this horrible room. Yeah, so sadly, this doesn't have like the most enemy dense, but it's probably friendly to new players, I guess. Gearsol on this thing, I guess. The only the thing I get confused about. Okay, that's the fake way. Yeah, I always get confused where to go because there's the fake ways where they, for some reason, make the door green even though you can't go there. I don't understand why they did that. Other than to just purposely confuse players. Yeah, it's this quest, exactly. I thought this one had more than one Gurdabulu. I guess it's just a wall of Goron detonators at the end. I thought it was two Gurdabulu at the end. That's why I didn't think anything of it when I saw this quest. But I'm like, I have definitely done this quest more than once. I used to run this a long time ago, like off stream, when I didn't know about better quests. Cause so I'm like, oh, it's a higher number, therefore the quest has to be good. So foolishly optimistic. This quest is okay, but as I said before, it has a really annoying telepoint, telepipe point, and I always forget after taking a break where it is. I know it's there. At some point, we have to do an awful, awful backtrack. Oops, let's go this way. Because we need to inevitably come back into the room. The goal is there is a room in the middle of this maze room that we need to come back to. So if we see a laser gate, we could probably put a telepipe there knowing we have to come back later. So I can see the laser gate now. I think we have to telepipe there later. And it's confusing because it makes you go forward and then like you hit the switch and then it makes you backtrack like four rooms or something stupid. And it's just much faster to take a telepipe there. So I'll try to point it out if I notice it, but just be aware, be on the lookout for that. There's one big point where it saves like a minute and a half or more if you know about it. Maybe Jet Set Radio. I have never played Jet Set Radio. I think the thing is, I never owned a Dreamcast and I don't have like uh, pretty much any GameCube games. So the soundtrack knowledge is very limited. 
I got a Dreamcast much later in life, way after it was discontinued, but it only had like a handful of games like Power Stone. Okay, I see the point where we need to warp. I'm gonna try to throw freeze traps off as out as often as possible. Just because it helps the team with aiming. It's always Mario. Oh man, Mario would take forever. I'm thinking I'll probably keep it Sega to keep it themed with PSO. They're not bad ideas, don't get me wrong. There are so many Mario games. I'm assuming there's more Mario games than Sonic games. But Sonic, Sonic is very heavily pushed. So we have a warp there. I think we gotta take that. So much Mario. Welcome to Little Life. Who I always forget the name of. I wanna say Sarah. I'm so bad with names. Apologies if that is not your full name. Get rid of the Gorons. There we go. We're just gonna go melee massacre these lizards. Yeah, I had a feeling based off the number of enemies, it was probably okay to bring a hunter here. And it's this quest. It's okay to bring a hunter here. <laughs> we don't, like, need, need, pew pew laser or something. Hopefully you've been doing well, Sarah. I think we gotta go back in the middle. Oh, I keep missing the Masetta. There we go. <laughs> We're getting closer to the warp. Uh... Get that random trap that's there for no reason. Doing well enough, working so much off the next two days. Can't wait. Ooh, nice. We get a nice break. So we're slowly going around here. Yeah, see, see, I can see the laser gates here. I'm going to go ahead and just put a telepipe down preemptively. And if we ever get confused, we can take my telepipe later. So I'll take that small detour and it saves... I mean, right now over 10 seconds just coming this way. So yeah, when we hit a switch and we don't know what to do, we'll go back. Oh, did we hit the end of the soundtrack? I think we did. Sorry team, you're on your own for a second. Very short soundtracks. Yeah, Gorons have uh, Yashminikov and Slicer Fanatic specifically, from White and Purple ID. Okay, we're just looking for where we work backwards. I think we gotta go this way. So you can see, like, we would have to walk back two rooms so far and counting. We're looking for a switch. Get rid of you. The kind of yellow, green, sickly ones. Those are the ones that have the item that we want. So every time we see those, maybe excitement will happen. Hopefully we'll get a few eggs doing the quest. With four players, it's a boosted raid. I think it's time to gear a soul. Honestly, if I get a gear soul with decent stats, it's got 20 native. That's actually decent. Yeah, like, look how far we're going, Chad, and no, we have to go back to that room we were in. Isn't that ridiculous? Look at that, Chad. We are not taking that walk back. I'm not taking the walk of shame. <laughs> Just, like, knowing that makes the quest much more tolerable. Because otherwise, that's, like, what, a 30-second walk back to the room we were just in? So as soon as we hit that switch, Chad, we'll have somebody telepipe us, and then you can take my red telepipe so we could skip that nonsense backtrack. Oh, I can't quite combo kill. Without Zalora, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I need a Garrosol with Native Dark. Oriole Pipe, sure thing. Say goodbye to these enemies. So for non-X, with the XP boost, the XP is okay. Hi. Right. Let's go ahead and pipe back, I think. I'm gonna make sure everybody takes my red telepipe. 
Why is the Sonic for Shadow theme silence? Oh, team did not take my telepipe. I'm gonna put it back. There we go. Yeah, we 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 skipped like a solid minute backtrack, easy. Is it just really quiet? I see your like ring sound effects. Okay, I'm skipping this song. This song is bad. For like a very dramatic song, it's like pring pring like every once in a while. There we go. That's more of a theme. Let's take the HP materials here. It's always weird to me when they put Sonic's sound effects in the song. I don't get what the appeal is. Oh no, there's another. Oh no, there's another pipe. Did I need to pipe a second time? Well, I guess we'll find out. I remembered one telepipe. Did we have to do it again? Is the question. I'm scared because I do see one there. At least my other telepipe is where it is if we have to go back to that room. Out more free straps. There we go. Make everybody's life easy. Yeah, it's nice to be able to get some extra XP on this character. Okay, so I can hit the switch. I'm not sure if we need to warp again. If this doesn't take us anywhere, we need to warp. Damn. Alright, can somebody tell by? I think we have to go back to the room we just came from again. I'm gonna double check. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna move a little closer so that way team can just telepipe in. Okay, take my telepipe team. I'm so glad I put another one down because I wasn't sure. Yeah, that is ridiculous. So yeah, we saved like two minutes from the quest by doing that, by the way. Ooh. I'm glad I remembered that because otherwise we would be wasting whole minutes <laughs> instead of just enjoying the quest. You can see like some of the quest design is a little a little questionable with some of the episode four. They're not all perfect quests, sadly. Sadly I couldn't target any of the Mercis. Oh, Disco Liberator. I thought it was Disco uh, Rayman. Got excited. This red ID can also get also get Disco Rayman. It's like a consolation prize if it rolls high. Goodbye, Gorons. Nice level up. This quest isn't too bad, but again, you have to know about that telepipe, or else it's just not worth your time doing. So I'm glad I remember, chat. I did it. <laughs> Feel proud. I remembered one optimization in a quest that isn't TTF. I, I used to do this quest solo, and I remember getting really mad about the backtrack a long time ago. So can you see another red switch? Apparently it is nothing but gear assault action time. Where did these enemies? Goodbye enemies. 118,000 XP so far, that's not too bad. I'm gonna hit this switch which will hopefully open up something useful for us. Did lose a mine material back there, but I'm not going back. So okay, good, good, good. No other telepipe points. 
So there is a Gerda Bulu at the end. This has one of the worst final waves in an episode 4 quest I've seen. So just be parachat. It's like triple Goron Detonator, Gerda Bulu, Double Zoo. <laughs> like it is it is like actually heinous. So just be ready for that, chat. It is gonna be real bad when it appears. Like most of the waves so far have been tamed. That final wave is atrocious. One of us is gonna get pulled full screen into the murder zone. So rest in peace, whoever they target. Here it comes. Oh, heal a little bit. We're getting closer to it. Yeah, you can see there's not a lot of Goron Detonators, which makes the quest easier. But sadly, Goron Detonators tend to have really good items. So there is a trade-off, I suppose. Ooh, there we go. Straight up murdered him. Oh boy. Oh, I guess depending on how you kill them, you don't have to deal with the Gordon Detonator with the Gerda Bulu. Okay, that, that's reassuring. <laughs> I remember getting... I guess... Yeah, I guess it depends on what you kill there. Okay, that's good. We, we killed it in a good order then. Getting rid of the Gordon Detonators early. Um... I... Okay, that wasn't too bad then. I've definitely dealt with it where the Goron Detonators and the Rappies just instant murder you. So that's good. We could kill them a little out of order. Okay, I don't need anything here. I guess I'll take my Telepipe. Well, I guess I could take the Red Pipe back. It doesn't really matter. So we'll do another one of these. It's decent XP. I mean, like, with the, with the XP boost, it's 150-ish. Which, again, is pretty good for, like, a non-CTF quest. But without that little 25%, it's probably not worth running most of the time. But with the egg boost and everything else, it's not bad. Oh, I wish, I wish Endless Episode 4 exists. <laughs> I wish. My dream is one day someone will give me Endless Episode 4. Yeah, they have one for one and two. I think they said something along the lines for the quest maker that episode four already has quests that go multiple areas. Oh, he wants to give me an item. Um. Oh, I got the Shizitsu or whatever it's called. I'll pick that up on the way back. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what they said. I, like, I remember it was a forum post. It was basically like, yeah, there's no point to doing episode 4 because there's already quests that do that. Between um, Beyond the Horizon and Massive Attack, I think, were the listed reasons. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure those were the reasons stated why they didn't do it. Even though I would actually love it, <laughs> I actually would still love it just to add more variety to do. Rip my dog grinder. Oh, wait, it's still there. Nice. So 22,000 Vesetta is actually pretty good. For that kind of quest, that's actually good money. That kind of pays for itself if you're playing a hunter. So we'll do this quest maybe two more times to end the stream. Power level this character a little more. She's getting so close, chat. 180. I'm so I'm so desperate for it. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get that red ring, I'm gonna be like, ah, whole new power level. I'm gonna stop missing dark flow swings and everything. Yeah, it's it's nice to be able to do a, a variety of quests that potentially just aren't oops all rangers. And I think there are a surprising number of times in episode four where uh, Hunter is extremely strong. I think I definitely slept on Hunter for uh, episode 4 for a while. Chat, you know what's sad? We almost finished the soundtrack already. That is a really short soundtrack. I guess the other songs are just repeats of others. 
These are the ones that are specific to this version of the game. Yeah, it's only 13 songs, and one of them was that mostly silent shadow song, which was terrible. And since we're playing all melee, and we're not really using guns, it means they're really not going to teleport that much, aside from if they get hit by random techs. So honestly, this kind of makes it pretty easy for Hunter. I mean, just look at this. This is free. Oh, it's a lower level 30. Did you need that, uh, Murphy? Or using God Tech for it? Where did it drop? Oh, unless somebody picked it up randomly. I, I saw it briefly. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was asking if you still needed the Zalore 30. Yeah, that's a super good pickup for forces. I guess somebody picked it up and then dropped it earlier. Yeah, yours is 29. Yeah, that's what I was commenting before. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting upgrades for Murphy. In real time. Get rid of these. So again, I'm just going to burn as many freeze traps as I can. Just to help the team out significantly. Yeah, I had a feeling either Chris or Toriel dropped it. Oh, you dropped Amiga 29 last run? Wow, that's crazy. So, if nothing else, drop rate up increases the chance of you finding techniques. I didn't see the Amiga in, But I wasn't looking at the item finder at the time, probably. That is super good. Oh, let me hit the switch before I forget about it or else bad things will happen. Yeah, I do want to make sure the Rappies end up getting hit, because they end up being uh, potentially Easter eggs and stuff. Oh. Nothing of interest. Is this the soundtrack over? Wow, that was the whole soundtrack. Well, um, I guess the final soundtrack for now. Gazan 29. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, probably. I will probably take it. Hold on to it if you have space, though. I'll take it at the end. I, I literally have no room. I'm going to put away Dark Flow. Next time I telepipe, I'm going to make room for it. And then I'll alleviate you of that of the run. What is the soundtrack? Uh, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Probably the title music fight, I guess. Goodbye, Pyrogoron. Yeah, you can see the effectiveness of freeze traps. Just we just start brutalizing the whole room. Monstrous. Uh, that's the wrong way. That's the right way. Hmm. There we go. Much smoother. Yeah, I think I have basically enough freeze traps for the whole wave. I think if Toriel freeze traps the later ones, then we could just shut down every wave. Yeah, like when you see Marissa's, those things need to get frozen. Get out of my face. They're probably the most annoying enemy for anybody to deal with, honestly. Unless you have a lot of stack of foe. Team. I'm actually going to confuse trap here. These enemies are not that threatening. Yeah, I think with the Gafoe I can combo kill. Looks like that's correct. 
I think I'm gonna tell them to uh, chill out a little. I was gonna say, I'm assuming it just wants me to come this way. Yeah, my goal is by the end, by Friday, I want to hit 179. I'm already almost 178 in one day, which is really good. And we potentially will be playing more later. Then I think we'll do a full RBR. Also, if you're ever curious, Toriel, in episode 4, whenever you see satellite lizards, Marissa's, the hoppy guys, or the grunt Gorons, like the darker Gorons there, you can just throw a fire trap out if you're repositioning. It's just free damage. <laughs> like, honestly, it really is. It's kind of funny. They all take decent fire damage. So if you're just looking to boost the damage of the room, and you're looking to understand when to use fire trap in episode 4, oops, I guess wrong. I always forget the path. I'm so sorry, John. So, like, what I'll end up doing is if I do a combo that I need to back up, for example, to hit again, I'll just throw a fire trap out if I remember to do it. Like, kind of like here, I'm repositioning, so just threw a fire trap, because why not? Here, I could probably just freeze trap into a fire trap if I want to. Rip Chris. Yeah, a lot of the, the cast tech is either instantly popping a trap using a gun or just throwing out fire traps randomly as you combo. There's a lot of times if you feel like you're missing a kill by like 100 damage, you'd be surprised how often fire traps would have killed and saved you some hassle. Uh-oh. Uh... I don't think I teleported in the other room. Let me panic, go back. I believe in your team. I didn't think I was in the room that did that already. So we're gonna take the walk of shame, but I'm gonna help cut the team time down a little bit. Man, it's such a long walk. Sadly, I don't think I'm going to get XP for that. But that's fine. We'll take the loss. Uh, I see where I was supposed to do it. That's unfortunate. Fine. Let's go free some space. I'll take the XP loss. My telepipe is up when the team needs it. I'm just putting away some items. Let's put away... Dark Flow, Twin Blaze. So I can hold the other item. I'm not gonna go buy some telepipes. Because I needed to go back to the shop at some point anyway. It's just a little sooner than I would have liked. Uh, I'm gonna check the other room and then I'm gonna take my telepipe back. You know there's a door. What do you mean over here? Yes. It's still much slower than taking the telepipe. I still need that telepipe there for later, so we're leaving it there. And now I can hold that Kazan that I needed. It's gonna free up Toriel's inventory for better items.
Yeah, normally you're supposed to telepipe on the way out and you just use it both times. I guess technically you could leave the door and then also telepipe, but I find it faster if we use that same telepipe twice. It's better to do that. Okay, there it is, thank you. And I'll take the XP loss, it's fine. Here, um... Bonk. Oops. And that's the confusing part too. The d both doors were green, but both of them lead to a dead end. I would, I would love if I could just tell the people that to just update this quest to lock the doors, so that way we don't go to the wrong door. It's just kind of like arbitrary memorization. You always forget Deadlight Scar has sacrifice. Well, that's why people use it. It's so good. It does big damage. Put another free strap out. Another fire trap out, because why not? Goodbye, random Marissa's. Nice. <laughs> I think I saw the fire trap get a go. Oh, fire trap, you're so silly. Alright, so somebody telepipe? Yeah, there we go. And then team can take my telepipe. I left Murphy behind. I'm gonna telepipe again. Save Murphy a small trip. Okay. By traps. There are a weird. They are just kind of like weirdly placed. Like they're not in like near boxes. They're just kind of like yeah, just just one on this one path. Ooh, photon crystal. Nice find. Nice box rare. Love to see the box rares. Yep. There we go. Again, really solid XP for the team. And then I think we'll end with one TTF, and I gotta go. I feel like that's fair. This character has built up so much XP. I didn't think we would ever get 600,000 on stream for this character on a non-XP week. But it's nice being able to use her in other quests and still go for actual rares. Sadly though, none of us have seen the Heaven Striker or even a Disco Great Man, honestly. What's up with that? I don't expect at least one of those. <laughs> oh well. Goodbye, Marissa's. Event egg, nice. It's about time with boosted egg chances that we uh, get one of those. It's very silly that TTF has given more eggs so far compared to this quest, given the number of enemies killed and the boost. This is the Reaper's power. Egbert, yeah, something like that. Man, Sweeping at Five was so good. It's like just too long of a game to speedrun, sadly. And also, the worst sections I don't miss. Everything else about it was fantastic. <laughs> May 100%ing those war battles die in a fire. <laughs> right, chat? Screw those. I'm never doing those. I'm never 100%ing those again if I play that game again. I'm just going straight for the victory condition and leaving. Like, peace out. Is that a level 29 Gafoe drop by somebody? Pretty good drop. It kind of came out weirdly, so I'm assuming it was somewhere back there. If it was just my drop alone, I don't know where it dropped. I think I need Rebarda, so if I see Rebarda for sure, I will drop a million items to go pick one up. Nice. 
Nice. Rip Chris. The trap said no. The arbitrary trap in some rooms just get you. Yeah, okay, three freeze traps left, so I think I could freeze this room to get a little closer. All this week, they are so, they are so different. Oh yeah, five was gone in a rush. Five was so different than the other ones. One and two, I would understand. I don't think three, four, and five are that similar. And I don't think uh, Tier Curious was similar either. I forgive one and two though, they literally have the same characters for the most part. Yeah, that, that one had the power of gun. Gun was so good. Ah, I'm getting bodied. <laughs> I mean, three three has your your favorite child kidnapping star of destiny. That's a star of destiny for some reason. Oh, there we go. Yeah, for me, their visual styles were so different. I seriously got Gracia, really. We have one. We have one shot at getting this. I mean, okay, I'm just I'm picking up. Well, apparently the one of fun of Gurdabulu still dropping rares. I don't know where that Gafoe was, sadly. Put away some items. So I'll put away the Kazan Gracia. We'll probably do more of these in the afternoon. We'll try to do a proper start to finish our RBR. That's why I'm probably not going to label this as RBR. Or at least in, like, we're doing all RBR kind of thing. Yeah, decent Gracia. Let's see, we'll do a quick check on how many eggs and stuff we have. We're up to 65 and 82 full-time drops, so we're getting up there. And again, I think this quest is okay with the XP boost. With all the other boosts, I think it makes it worth it. Stag Cutlery. I will sacrifice you to the Team Point Gods. Rip Stag Cutlery. I think technically I could still use them. I haven't done anything with their Team Points in a while. Yeah, we're sitting on 13,000 points. So in theory, I could increase the number of members we have. Because I don't think I bought everything yet. I do like the free scape doll when we complete the quest. That's a nice touch. So at least if you're repeating it from an RBR standpoint, it can help with the harder quests. So yeah, let's do one TTF, because I think that's sadly all I have time for. And we'll continue later today. Mind materials. The way the escape doll. Need that more for harder areas. Oh. I do you have your assault with dark? Hmm. Interesting. Wind blaze, dark flow. Do I need vice? Oh, I already have the vice. Huh. There we go. Slowly leveled up Murphy's character. Like that Murphy hit 131. Slowly getting out of kill range of falls. Ooh, Chris bringing in the serious level 200. It's whatever you want. You're always welcome to bring in a raw moral if you want, Chris, or another character, just for levels. Or just outright obliterate the boss. Whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy.
It's like comfort and power over level. That's fair. But that just means you need more raw casts. That's all I'm learning from this. Another happy raw cast to stomp around with. You could form your own armada. Will this see rocks mock two or something later? Heavenly battle. Do I have room for that? I don't. Oh, so annoying. I'll give a defense material. I think it's important I collect those for new players. Just make sure I had enough HP lost there. So if Chad is wondering why I have so many heavenly battles, <laughs> might it might have been from Red ID grinds or TTF. Might have picked up quite a lot for new players. I think at one point I had 20. We've, we've gotten down to like 5. So we've definitely given away a lot of Heavenly Battles. We're just very gradually restocking them while leveling this character. And I cannot believe she's almost 178 already. So I think later today we'll get her to 178. Then it'll free up that S parts that she has. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, Toriel. People will also bring in a uh, Vulcan to shoot the feet. But generally, multi targets are preferred there, other than the sword. Sword's a bit slow. Catchy soundtrack so far. There's a Valkyrie. I'm not going to go pick that up. Two, three. The Lord of the Slime away from its spawn, so I'm gonna be the person that pulls it. Here. No, went to Chris. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's like a little too close. Nibelung Valesti! Hope this will work. Okay. <laughs> okay, I compensated. Goodbye, slimes. You're already dead. hear that exclamation mark Valkyrie. I'm gonna confuse trap these so that they fight each other. Oh never mind, not even needed. Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> Thank you, evasion, because I think that was evasion actually blocking for once. Yeah, I'll let Murphy take care of the telepipe on that end. I'll probably go back and assist them in the other room. So many kills there. See, that's normally where I get a ton of stuff. I'm gonna go back and assist Chris. I'm also assuming Chris did not bring telepipes. That's also why I went back. <laughs> I'm gonna call Chris hardcore on that. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. See, that that's called player knowledge. <laughs> oh, you did bring pipes this time? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go in the corner. Let's have a happy fun time in the corner over here. And it's sword, sword and Jaya time. Perish. Tutorial's a little too far up. Yeah, come to, come to all the way in the corner. Oh, we'll revive you. Yeah, the more you can avoid hitting the head, the better. The sword can hit quite a few targets there, so red sword's actually decent um, in the corner. I think it's a good backup if you don't have, like, a good Jaya. I used to use that on occasion, just because it can hit more targets, potentially, since it's very horizontal. They have to stand in a very specific spot. Yeah, let's confuse them a little bit. Ooh, the Zalore. Oh, that Zalore is going to guarantee some kills. Thank you for the Zalore. That actually makes a difference. Yeah, there we go. See, we got two kills instead of one, thanks to Zalore. Just free XP. 
Minimal investment, one spell, free kill. Somehow I ended up in front. Normally I never beat people into this room when I'm in red ID, but I guess due to the Zalore, I didn't need to go back and clean up as much. Okay, so I'm definitely going to stay in this room because I'm going to freeze trap kill, although technically I could leave Chris to do that. Chris will probably be the one that bazookas the uh, switch for us. I'm going to wait for the right time for the freeze. It's a little soon. I'm not sure if this will work. Oh, it'll. Still works. Wow, that is a very forgiving window. Okay, as long as everybody got through, that's all that matters. Okay. Run, team, run. Don't look back. The bombs are coming. Almost. Uh, so I'm going to Twin Blaze to slow it up. I guess I'll let Chris spread needle. Well, I'm gonna be spamming Twin Blaze, I think. Teleporting on my screens. See, it skipped a screen for me. It like started on that one and then went over here. That kind of sucks. There we go. Uh, hear us all a couple times. No! <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, I almost had it. Rip. No dark flow. <laughs> so sad. Uh, this is awkward. Um, I think I'm gonna just die here, yeah. I couldn't dark flow. It's so unfortunate. I can't do anything because it's on the worst phase. Rip. Yeah, that's probably the only time I don't want healing, is on that vault up. I, I can deal with dragon being healed, but that that's really brutal between phases. Nice heavenly HP. Uh, so sad. That was yesterday, Blue Donna. That's true. I think that was Hellcleave. <laughs> Blue Donna slow is always on the uptake. That, that's pretty accurate. Nice. Frozen shooter. I like that adaptation actually. Get rid of these. Huh? Um, did nobody go up on the platform? Uh, well, I'm gonna keep going. We probably need somebody to go on that platform. It's not me. I've never done that on so far on stream. Not as this character. I'm gonna keep killing. But ID gives spread needle. I guess in theory we could kill it. I'm just gonna keep going, honestly. At this point, I've already committed. Come on, spawn. I'm gonna kill you. Let's go. Oh, I put a confuse trap out. That's not the right trap. Unfortunate. Yeah, at this point, I'm committed. Maybe I'll get a spread needle out of it. Nope, no spread needle. Rip the spread needle. Anyway, time to telefight. Telefight up.
Okay, so I'm gonna gear assault my health once we go to the next area. You have a longer than usual stream delay? That's unfortunate. We're going to believe and not getting hit. Yeah, this puts me so close to 178 already. This is dedication. I so I usually swap characters on stream, but I think the urge to get 180 is overriding my normal tendencies, just because I know how beneficial that would be. Unless it would potentially open up. Oh, I cannot visualize anything on the screen right now. I know it would very much benefit me for Sky ID runs, because I do like to do box runs, which we'll go back to once the event is over. But it's not there's not really a point in box running for six targets. What's the time limit on quoting? Well, technically, n there is no time limit. I think if you were to- if someone were to say hello once, and then not say anything, it'd be there. I mean, technically, that comment about the-, the that one Jesus quote. The other person that didn't say anything after that, it would have uh, been like that forever. Oh, welcome, Hellcleave. I'm sadly very far from where I need to be here. I got a little sidetracked reading chat, which is already dangerous to do when I'm dodging spinners, but that's fine. So you're gonna see the before and after damage on this boss. Don't mind me. I'm gonna be the DPS. Get out of here. Yeah, it literally just checks the user for last message, which is known data from Twitch. As far as I know, they don't clear that. They got a little extra damage on the boss. Oh, it went downwards. That's sad. No worries, Helkly. We'll be playing more, I think, in the afternoon. I'm not sure what time specifically, so just check the Discord. I'll try to PSO LFG. I, I think I've been pretty good about that for the most part. If I'm not starting the stream that way, I've been doing it. That was a fast kill. But yeah, sadly I gotta go somewhere for uh, lunch and that requires me to drive. So I just want to make sure I'm giving myself enough time to get there. So I think even with bad luck falls, I should be fun. Look at that, Murphy survives. Oh, wow, we got it in two movements. Damn, that was good. Didn't even matter if we got short cycle. That was brutal. Fast kill. <laughs> Another 40,000 XP. Not bad. So yeah, two more of those and I'll level. Oh yeah, Hellcleave. I'm not sure if you saw earlier. I got my first 50 hit charge uh, ray gun, on like ever. <laughs> I've never seen one drop normally. It came with a uh, 40 dark, which is uh, pretty good for falls because that's gonna be my Hugh Cast gun for sure. Like okay, more damage. <laughs> away the heavenly battle we picked up. Sadly, I had to get rid of some of the stuff that we were holding. Put away another escape doll. See, so yeah, I'm feeling a little more confident with multiplayer hunter because I'm just forcing myself to play it. So I'm, I'm hopefully demonstrating higher level play than I did last year with hunter while like actively trying to dark flow. Wait, what? It's not the right bank. I don't need this. 
Uh, but this escaped all the way, which is good. I meant to do this with this one. Yeah, there we go. Anything else in here that shouldn't be in here? That looks pretty standard. So yeah, 82 photon drops, 65 eggs, not bad. <laughs> Only three spare ad slots. I did actually burn most of my spare ad slots, so I'm gonna have to go to that anniversary quest at some point. But to be fair, it went on Tempest Cloak. We did use the Tempest Cloak on stream. She'll eventually... I'll pick one of the 13s that's in my spare inventory. And just make her use it full time. So we shall lose a little bit of defense over Blackhound, but she'll make it up with Red Ring. So I'll be at the defense value I want to be, while also getting accuracy and ATP and everything else that's fun. And also that potential 20 ATP from um, Red Ring will go towards that 40% of the Ray Gun, so I'm also okay with that. My timer just told me that time is up. Perfect timing, actually. Just type slash lobby instead of slash bank. No matter the set it for me. Oof. Slash so out a little bit. So I'll be back later today. Exact starting time is question mark. So keep an eye out on the Discord. But yeah, I'm looking to get this character to 180 by Friday. And at the rate we're going, it's going really well. <laughs> so if I just play even two TTFs when we come back, we'll be there. But I think once we have a full team. We need like an Imperimeter and potentially a Hellcleave at simultaneously. We'll showcase maybe the Lost Charge Vulcan. That's a quest I'm not willing to do with low level characters because it's Tower. That is a lot of ill gill. But every other quest I think we'll, we'll showcase next time. And we did a little bit of the RBR at least for episode 4. So at least we uh, took advantage of it to some extent. And I think that quest was fairly easy at least. So no problems for for uh, joining for the runs, and hopefully you had fun joining us. But it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if, if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, thank you again for watching, and hope to see you again in the next part.